here we go. This is on the back of page 30, number 7. Compounded monthly is this guy, right? This is the compound interest formula, right? So here we go. How much will I have in my account after 12 years if I deposit 555 at an interest rate of 3.5% compounded monthly? Okay, so what goes where? What's A? A is I don't know. A is how much I'm going to end up with, right? I am depositing 555. Remember, this is the amount that you start with. Uh, one plus. Okay, what's my interest rate? 0. 0.035. Compounded monthly means my N is 12. For 12 years? So that exponent is actually just 144. Yeah. And I don't know if you heard Olivia, but she is dead on. She said, don't be messing around with logarithms, Mrs. Ford. You have everything you need, just type it in. Type in exactly what you see on the board and you will get the right answer. So 555 five, five, parentheses, one plus 0 0.035 divided by 12 parentheses raised to the 144th equals $844.17. Type it in. Make sure you get the same thing I did. Everybody good? <coughs> Last problem on this entire note sheet. Wow. What interest rate compounded continuously? Stop right there. Per. What's my formula? That's per. per. What interest rate compounded continuously? will be required to end up with a thousand dollars after three years if eight hundred and ninety dollars is initially deposited you're solving for r you're solving for r what's my a one thousand what's my p R, I don't know, but T is three years. Divide by 890. And again, unless it goes in evenly, please do not round off some wacky decimal. Just leave it as a fraction. LN both sides. And magically, wonderfully, Vaughn. So LN a thousand over eight ninety equals three R. So we're just going to take LN that big fraction and divide it by three. And did you get an interest rate of 0 0.0388 or 3.88%? Uh, it doesn't really matter to me. James? So why is it that you got 0 0.388 and then push it up to yeah. 
because the question said what interest rate and normally when I uh, talk about interest rates they're percentages so the percentage that goes with this decimal is 3.88%. Uh, percentages are two. So you always, no, do you always have to uh, like make it a whole percent or can it be like less than 1%? Like if you had only put it up one, it would have been like 0.38 of a percent. Like you always have to push it to where there's three numbers. Like oh, one after no, the but I've been rounding these to the nearest 10,000. Okay. So that's automatically going to go to the 100 because two places over. Okay. Again, I, there were no rounding instructions on here, so I'm just kind of doing consistent with what I did before. Okay, lousy. All right, let's get out our practice test. Yep, you've already got it. No, not your exam review, people. We got a test to take. We need our practice test. Gave this to you quite a while ago. Practice test chapter three. Everybody's got one. If you don't, take a picture of somebody's and get yourselves organized for Pete's sake. Those of you that maybe were absent and want to come back in a packet of stuff, so we're looking at our practice test now. Tomorrow, after we take our quiz, we'll do a word problem practice in preparation for a word problem quiz, because you're going to have to be able to use your calculator, so we want to do a word problem quiz, and we'll just continue working on these until test day. There's three of them, so we got lots to do. All right, so here we go. Number one, we won't get through it all, obviously, but here we go. Is this equation... Growth or decay? Growth. That's growth. How do we know? 1.02 is, is bigger than 1. one. What is the percent growth or decay? 2%. Two. 2% Two. Two percent growth. And what's the initial value? 3. Three. Everybody good? Mm -hmm. Okay. Next, write the equation of the exponential function. So remember, we're thinking y equals a, b to the x. And the points are 0, 2, and 218. So this guy right here is always a. Remember back in your foggy memories? So we know y equals 2, b to the x. Remember, I told you to always start with a point that has a zero, and the reason is that always gave us an A value. So now we'll take our other point. Y is 18. X is 2. Multiply by 1 half. Multiply by a half or divide by 2, whatever's easiest. In this case, trying to divide. Or multiply by half. Doesn't make any difference. So now equal now nine equals b squared. So b equals three. And then don't forget to write down your final answer, which is y equals two times three to the x. Yesterday at Open Gym, there was an academic student in here working on uh, this kind of stuff and she multiplied the two and the three together. And of course, what do you think I did? Freaked out. We never multiply our A and our B, ever, ever. Okay, now we got a bunch of simplify problems. I bet we can get these done. I'll make you a deal. We get these done, we're, we're done. Let's see if we get them done. Eight to the negative second. One over 64. One over eight squared, that's one over 64, perfect. One fourth 64. to the negative third is four cubed, which is 64. Our, is everybody keeping up here? Mm -hmm. Negative exponents flip us. C, five. five. L and E cancels, five. Log base four of uh, 16, what's two. that equal? Two. 
4 to the x equals 16, so x has to be 2. Mrs. Ford, there wasn't an x. Stick one in if it helps you do the problem. Right? Stick it in. 27 to the negative 2 thirds. You guys are too good. That would be 127. You just went out of here. 127 to the 2 thirds. So that's the cube root of 127 squared. So those of you that said 1 ninth, you are right. It is 1 ninth. F. Oh, this takes a little bit of effort. <laughs> So we got two and a three. What happens four to the answers four over nine? What happens to the x's? One on the bottom. Is that good with everybody? Now, see those four y's? They're coming down. So I'm going to have y to the fifth on the bottom. Yes. And then squared. And I'm squaring it. You get four ninths, and then x squared y to the tenth. How's that look, everybody? G is nine. G is nine. G is nine. H is three. H. Three. Yeah, very, very good. Ten to what power is a thousand? If you said three, you are right. All right, the next one's nine three. Three halves to the third. You got to flip it over. I flip three. it over. 27. Uh, so it's three. 27 eighths. Wait, what? Yeah. Oh, you know, yeah. I did wrong. Yeah. The next one's five. And the last yeah, one is five. five because the base on LN is E. And the race is over. Uh, I'm doing math. Okay, the practice test. I mean, the quiz for tomorrow. Uh, I'm doing whatever the kids who show up for flex want to do. All right, people, have a great day. We'll pick up here tomorrow after we take our quiz.